Fly with iCATS Online Aviation Training Aviators Training Logbook Module 1 Aviation Radio Telephony Lesson 1 What is RT License? Points of Discussion in the Session what is RT license? Why is RT license important for aviation students? Does RT apply to everyone in aviation? What is RT license? RT license commonly stands for Radio Telephony License. The actual license is known as RTRA, Radio Telephony Restricted aeronautical. This license is a special document issued by every country's Ministry of Communication in partnership with country's Ministry of Civil Aviation. In India, the WPC, Wireless Planning and Coordination, wing of the Ministry of Communications, Government of India, issues the RTRA license to deserving candidates. Why is RT license important for aviation students? DGCA, Directorate General of Civil Aviation, renders it mandatory for every commercial pilot license holder to have a valid RTRA license issued by WPC in India. DGCA also renders it mandatory for every avionics technician or an avionics AME engaged in radio system maintenance to hold a valid RTRA license issued by WPC in India. DGCA also renders it mandatory for every mechanical AME engaged in taxi of aircraft during maintenance to hold a valid RTRA license issued by WPC in India. Does RT apply to everyone in aviation? Yes. The training course to acquire RT license covers all aspects of everyday aviation operation all around the globe. The student learns to talk and gain fluency and proficiency in what is known as aviator's lingo. Aviation personnel use a slightly different English language which sounds like a secret code to a non-aviator. Acquiring RT license at beginning stages of one's aviation career makes her or him more knowledgeable about aviation as industry and the RT language as a skill, which helps the student stay steps ahead of others in the highly competitive industry of civil aviation. Conclusion RT license is a two-in-one document. It's a license to operate aviation radio communication equipment and aviation communication frequencies legally all across the globe. It's a certificate of proficiency proving the holder is thorough with aviation English that is universally used, making language barriers across different nations disappear, thus directly reducing miscommunications thus enabling safety in aviation operations between all nations irrespective of their mother tongue. How to get this license you must wonder. That's the topic for next session. See you all in the next training flight. Until then, don't stop dreaming and never give up.